Spatial is also me using my body, like, the na like going under the ship. My body is an object moving through space. So, uh, and of course you just think about any preschool or anything and you compare boys and girls moving around preschools and you can see boys are just using their bodies as objects moving through space, right? And girls are more sedentary. And there's always a girl, by the way, who uses her body as an object moving through space. I have two daughters and my younger one, we called her Tigger from, from Winnie the Pooh because she just was always jumping and using her body as an object moving. So, of course, girls do that too. But you see more males showing their growth, their development, their love, their affection, their camaraderie, their nurturance, their empathy, all those things, they're doing that in a somewhat different way often than females because their brain's set up differently. So they may use their body as an object moving through space. And in fact, many of the things going on in schools that we talk about um, uh, and that we observe and that you've probably observed, like a boy knocking, I'll pick seventh grade. Seventh grade boy knocks another boy into the locker like this. Uh, unless, if, if the school isn't trained in any of this, so the teachers don't know about any of this, right? What are they going to think about that? Yeah, bullying, bad, don't do it, it's unwanted touch, right? Or something like that. Zero tolerance, etc. But what is it really? Even in just this 15 minutes of chatting together about this, what is that really? This is one boy using his bo body as an object moving through space to give affection to another boy. It's nonverbal, or it's got a pithy little put down in it, just a quick burst verbal and a little whap, you know, and they ha ha ha, everyone's laughing, and they like this and they go to class. The body is being used as an object moving through space. Um, the darts obviously are objects moving through space, and for instance, like, uh, you know, if you, ever, if you ever wonder why the heck is it that, that guys like to just, <laughs> thank you, I, I always like to startle someone, that, you know, if you want to wake a guy up, you know, you see he's kind of drifting in your class, you know, you just like throw the ball to him. <laughs> so, so, get everyone involved. Actually, so women will feel that way, or girls will feel that way as they're developing, they'll feel like they, they would be more into the relational for a while. They, they certainly, we, they had to bond with each other for a few five to ten minutes before they related through the ball. No, okay, I'll stop throwing it. Everyone's <laughs> like, is he going to throw it? I'm done, I'm not going to throw it. Uh, right, and then, and then they would, after five minutes of kind of chatting and getting connected, then they'd start moving the object through space, the soccer ball. Uh, guys, like if you coach soccer or anything, baseball or anything, you, you know, guys might chat for a bit, but basically when you're with guys, how do you get guys going? You start doing it, right? They start doing it. Like Troy, Troy's here, you are a lacrosse coach. So do, they have, do you have them sit around for five or ten minutes and chat before they... No, you just get out there and they relate while they're doing it, right? Okay, because they want that object to be moving through space because the, they want to activate the right side of their brain. For females, they'll chat for a while, get it kind of connected, sensorial and emotively connected and bonding and so on, and then that gets them going and then they're ready to do it. And, and if, like me as a male coach, if I don't know that and I just go right after these, you know, nine-year-old girls, get out there and start, they're not going to enjoy that game. Their brains are set up a somewhat different way. And, um, and it's not that guys don't chat. Guys talk, listen, we talk. Uh, but if there's an object we can move through space, we're going for that object. <laughs> and if you think about video games, obviously video games are you know, primarily played by males because you have virtual space, right? It's virtual space and you're moving objects through space. It's just mesmerizing. And it gets the whole right side of the male brain.